forgot to change the number again. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Are we, are we ready? Yeah, I forgot. I'll fix it for the yeah. edit on YouTube. Don't yes. worry, Karma. I forgot. I forgot. I'm a SpongeBob. Yes, I'm ready. we're ready. Take <laughs> us right. away. So uh, session four. Uh, so we left left off. Uh, our heroes went from Hokup to Havarvana. Havarvana Hi. being a cheese desert. They Bang encountered a, a giant cheese worm. Uh, understanding some in uh, information from the architects about the. Uh, the occult and the wolf cult pack going on. Uh, you understood that they were trying to raise up one of the three wolves going on. Um, or all three of the wolves, you're not sure. But if they raised up the parent wolves and the child wolf, it could uh, mean the end of the world. End of um, the world. I'm going to do you, emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> you make it to the final... Uh, you make it to where you think you're needing to go because you're not entirely sure. And sultry you watch voice, little children so that are sultry. made of chips running around. Uh, you get the sense I'm that so this ready. area, much like Hokup, has very strange, non-typical humanoid characters. Uh, you see an onion, a jalapeno, <laughs> the jalapeno, a salsa, the tomato salsa. Um, you are instructed by the leader, uh, RF Bean, that there might be uh, something that you're looking for, the cheese goblet down in the tunnels. Uh, you are Ooh, escorted, you or you thought you were supposed karma. to be escorted by Mac, which is a uh, macaroni. However, you realized quickly going through the tunnels, Mac had no clue where she was leading you. Uh, you continue to go through the tunnels, round and around, until you found what appeared to be a blue cheese monster. You uh, <laughs> defeated the blue cheese monster, made it past the monster, finding some uh, a cheese dagger in the wall. That was nice. Um, uh, you make it to what appears to be a completely cheese fountain and uh, the cheese goblet, which you needed. Uh, you dipped a weapon or your use of whatever magical item you dipped into the fountain, uh, which imbued it with power, and you are able to then go back. However, as you're about to leave, you hear a scream of a little child and realize that you forgot about Mac in the entire fight, and Mac just goes, dives straight into the cheese fountain and becomes Mac in cheese. <laughs> uh, you guys head back out, uh, RF Bean was very surprised about what was the situation going on, but not very surprised that Mac was up to some dumb stuff. Uh, and you stayed there for the rest of the night until you woke up in the next morning and decided to head to the final location, which is Gellerton, which is an underground cave system made out of um, chocolate. chocolate and fudge. It is the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> food puns <laughs> so uh you begin making your way there it, it, it's simple enough because you can see you're pretty close in yeah. directional um we're in haverton haverbon havervana yeah. and we're walking right here guys. so uh, i'm just showing them in as you guys are walking it's in morning you've had uh breakfast with the group uh, uh, Mc uh max says goodbye to you guys and everything um, bye max uh you hear a uh, as you're getting closer into the mountains to try and figure out how to get underground, uh, you begin to hear a noise. Um, you uh, you begin to look around, and what you it was hard to notice earlier on the mountain is a completely like chocolatey, uh, like chocolate looking goat that's about four feet tall. It's a huge goat, and it just kind of like bleats. And then just like continues to climb over the mountain and out of your ice uh, eye range. Is it made out of meat or is it made out of chocolate? Uh, from what you're seeing, it looks like it could be either. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks very chocolatey, but you're like, is that to disguise itself while it's on the mountaintop, or is it something else? You're hmm. you're having a really hard time from that distance. Okay. 
Uh, so as you begin to go forward a little bit more and try and figure out what's going on. Hi, Anna Jean. Um, Hi, babe. You get to about the base of where you need to go to start cl uh, diving down into the mountain. Uh, the ground around you begins to shake a little bit. Oh, fuck. I need Wait. everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Right now? Uh, yeah, as you see that there is a mudslide coming for you. What the fuck? We just started. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mr. Rickman. Uh, 20 total for me. Okay, 20. Uh, uh, you guys uh, just need a I got a 21. A 21. Oh, no, I didn't get a 20. I got a 17. Sorry. Everyone gets higher than a 10, you succeed. That's all. Jesus, that's... Mr. Ryan. <laughs> You're good. Uh, however, the How are like you feeling, does keep you in How are you one feeling? direction of it, and you look around, and the only way down is continue diving deeper in. So you're like, I hopefully this is the direction to go. Wait, we're digging into the rock, the chocolate lava slide? You found a tunnel, that's kind of a shaft, but it looks like it was a steep drop, but there's a rope attached, and then your way out has collapsed, so you're hoping to just continue to climb downwards and you should be okay. Okay. Wait, wait so, okay, so the the rope, there was, was that our rope or was that? Uh, no, it looks like the rope has been there. It looks like it's tied to the, and you keep look down, it, this rope looks like it's been fashioned there for a long time. So, okay. Like okay. a well-used rope, but not a rope that would break on you as soon as you grab it. Oh, fuck. Yes. Would it be a okay. milkshake? And this is, uh, this rope it's is Rocky up. Road. It's a uh, Rocky down. Road. You're down. You, down. you know, it's somewhere completely down in oh, this man. mountain range. Oh. Gellerton is a uh, completely underground city. Okay. Okay. All right. How so we he we're heading down, guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys, easy enough. I mean, you guys, I, you survived the mudslide without any issues. So... Uh, you immediately climb down. It's a little bit dark, but everyone is able to see except for Puella. Puella oh. struggles because she does not have dark vision. Help me, I can't see. Is Where are we going? There. Uh, but we that's easy enough. Uh, you get to the bottom. You uh, you kind of turn around. It's a nerd's rope, my odor says. It could be. Uh, you turn around. <laughs> uh, you are immediately... Uh, you're immediately face to face, but not really. Uh, some of you are face to face with two mouse folk. Oh. Uh, there are two mouse folk in like a uh, paladin armor. They have swords at the ready. They're looking at you. Uh, they, uh, you see two. So there's two of them. There's a, a pair of brown mice. And then the first one goes, "My name's Pip," and the other one goes, "My name's Squeak." And oh they look God. at you. The fucking and they're like, puns. They're like, we've, they're like, we've uh, been awaiting your arrival. Uh, the king uh, sent message along saying, okay, okay. Uh, the Goliath didn't have dark vision either, but that's, that's okay. You guys made it without any issues. Yes, so Pip Squeak. Easy enough. Uh, there's, it's lit down towards the bottom of the tunnel. Uh, as you do notice, these uh, pair of mouse folk that are pretty short, but not too much shorter than K uh, Puella is. Oh my god! Um, they're <laughs> like, we were informed that you're coming by the king, and of course, our uh, our watcher has informed that you are coming down this tunnel right now. Uh, uh, you kind of, the goat. Uh, you you like you say that, and in from like a shadowy area, you do see a goat appear, right next to the two mice. And you see as the two goat appear, uh, as you see as the goat appears next to the two, the goat transforms into another mouse. Oh my god, they're transformers. Uh, it, this one appears to be a druid. Oh, okay. like, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Converse just had a good point. Watcher Gellerton Giles, maybe? Like, is this another reference? Oh, Gellerton is Sarah Michelle Geller. That oh, was just like it. The, the Watcher, you know? Like, the you just said the Watcher. Oh, Which not you... everything is super related. To <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to think that you did that on purpose, Mr. Rickman. Give yourself sure. the credit, okay? Converse, good job. Good job figuring that out. That Mr. Rickman sure. clearly did on purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. So you see, there's a druid, and they're like, "Yes, uh, we 
keep an eye there on anyone that is coming around. There was a thousand cut the joke. There was a thousand cut the cheese jokes last stream. I said, Mayota, you need to watch the vlog. Well, we know that you're here to hopefully find um, fresh spring water. This is what you came for, and you we all realized yes, that's what you came for. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's come. Uh, let's go inside, and we'll talk with our uh, the uh, the leaders, and see if we can help you with this mission. Okay. Uh, so you are right. you are ushered in. Uh, quick question. Can yeah. I do a uh, quick inside check just to make sure they're not like trying to hide leading us into a trap or something? Yeah, go ahead. Make an insight check. Everyone or just uh, whoever wants to make an insight check can. Oh. If you if you're concerned about the motive of these mice. <laughs> Uh, 13. Okay, was yeah, that the only... I got a 13 only... as well. I only have a plus okay. one, so I'm not going to be very perceptive, so... <laughs> sure. Uh, you, you see that they seem to be the up and up. Uh, you realize if they were going to trap you and kill you, they would have already done it because you have no way out and a gene. already. You were already stuck here with them, but <laughs> they seem... In... <laughs> very true. <laughs> you seem... They seem innocent enough. Uh, as you continue to walk forward uh you see a pair of mice you see one black rat and uh one black actually uh, one black mouse and one white mouse and they acknowledge them and uh you acknowledge them and they, they seem to be in like leader's attire and they're like my name is michael and uh they he uh, he turns and introduces his wife and he's like this is minna uh minna So they like, we are the leaders here, and you see from right behind them pops out a little, even smaller mouse uh, that goes, My name's Caspi. And you look as it's a mostly white mouse with a little bit of black spots on its back, stomach, and has a one black patch over its eye. Like Casper, see... kind of. Uh, <laughs> We're kind trying. of. We're trying to get your references. Oh, no, no, this one's specific for Anagene, so it, you're not going to uh, get it. it uh, it's Anagene Anna, knows. <laughs> yes, Anagene wrote a book about a mouse named Caspian. Oh! So. Everyone, you're so thoughtful. <laughs> and so you see the little mouse, and he's carrying, like, a little wooden uh, sword on his side. And he's like, I, whatever you guys are here for, I'm up for an adventure. And for a second, you're like, is... <laughs> Is this another Mac situation going on? Yeah, please no. <laughs> Mac got us lost in the cheese tunnels, all right? While uh, I admire the bravery of uh, young Caspian, uh, I feel that it's a little too dangerous, possibly, for Hi, Sammy. them to be following us. I agree. Uh, Mac didn't help us either last time, so we probably don't need this little Caspi. Uh, well, what are you guys here for, uh, Caspi asks. We're here to find spring water. Yeah. Hold on, my dogs are barking. One second, guys. They're like Spr spring water? I I think I I think I heard some spring water down when I was exploring and it kinda like has a nervous look to him because he's admitting that in front of his parents. <gasps> he's like, um, well, you see, while I was exploring, I got I heard a loud noise and I dropped my blanket and I was I was <gasps> hoping that I was I think I'm brave enough to go get it. Okay. And he, like, well... he has his sword out again. He's like, I will, I will help get this. <laughs> and kind of like spring water, uh, spring water. That's okay. I, why do you need spring water? And he's kind of looking. He's like, I'm. He's like, okay. Well, I mean, I can help you. I'm sure if you'd like, but I just really want my blanket back. Sorry guys, my I don't know how loud this is for you guys. My dogs are barking because someone is doing fireworks. So it's it's tame enough. It's okay. Okay, it's not gonna stop for a while. <laughs> Just letting you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I've been going back and forth between muting my mics and stuff, but I uh, in the back uh, yeah. in the back of this room that you're in, uh, you see a couple other mice. Uh, you see a uh, uh, there's a silver rat named Cheap, and then uh, bl a black rat named Rem. Uh, you see there's a speckled rat named Chent. 
Uh, and there there's another. Name, is there one named Trick? There is no. You do not see one named Trick. However, Ooh. when you ask around, that's like, yeah, you never see Trick. They get <laughs> you when you least expect it. <laughs> and then there's another one named Spike, an uh, orange rat, and then an, uh, a dirty blonde one named Carol. If you ask why I named half of these, I cannot tell you why I did these. I, okay, there was a reason. I'm like very confused. Okay, what uh, is the uh, reason? Well, Cheap was Reap a Cheap from the uh, Narnia series. Um, Chent is an a inside joke in a different stream. <laughs> uh, Spike and Carol, I, I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I asked if there was a yeah. Spike is a Buffy reference. We're just going to pretend it is. Uh, probably spike is probably a buffy reference that's right yeah, that sounds about yeah, right. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> okay uh so you're you're seeing the little kids like playing around but uh everyone make a go ahead and make an insight check all uh, right 14. two Ooh, Five. i got an 18. an 18 like... insight check that's great yeah uh, so with an 18 insight, that's really good. Uh, uh, Puella, you kind of be able to deal with more people in general. Uh, one second. Because mm -hmm. I have good persuasion. Uh, Plus so 11. We, yeah, uh, Puella, you, you begin to study the character, study, uh, you begin to study Caspi really well. And notice that, you know, all, all the other kids are playing together, but Caspi is the only one with you. Mm -hmm. And you kind of like, you have a under standing that he's there's that something's something's different like why is he not off playing with all the other kids should i go over and talk to him yeah you can go over and talk to him if you like okay i'm gonna go over and ask him why he doesn't feel comfortable playing with the other kids should i roll like a persuasion or anything or do i not really need it you, you, your bard would roll at minimum a 21 on the persuasion yeah. check to talk to him it's fine uh okay. he kind of like <laughs> looks at you he's like it's really it's it's just hard to make friends sometimes, but I'm trying. I, I think someday I'll be able to make friends, but right now I just really want my blanket back. Does your bran blanket make you feel more brave? They're like, yep, and this sword too. And then like pulled out the sword again, which is a completely wooden sword. It's very dull. There's no way of doing anything. Maybe just a little bit of splinters at most. Okay. Well, I mean, I I don't know. Well, I'm talking to myself, not to little Cassie. Sure, sure, My sure. question is, is do we want to bring Cassie with us or do we want to just tell him right now, like, we'll go and rescue your blanket for you and we'll come back and give it to you. I feel like that's safer, right? I felt that it would be safer, but I mean, at the same yeah. time, he also mentioned that he lost it while he thought he heard spring water. That's true. But last right. time we tried to get directed but by a child we got lost in the catacombs right. of cheese but also i mean the way that i see it um Cassian, uh wants to be brave that's true and he's putting himself out there to be to do something brave and we shouldn't try to hold him back from that okay so i'm gonna tell caspi <sighs> that um he can come with us but he has to stay behind Ask Jack at all times and stay as protected as possible and that he is not going to get smooshed, but he can come with us. And we will get him his blanket. Uh, you watch as uh, Caspi's eyes like are like half the size of his face in excitement. Uh, he's like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> and he begins and to like, without hesitation. If you remember hesitation. the way, follow us, show us how to get to the water. If you remember, don't get us lost. Like with his hesitation, like you're looking what you're in is like a town that's just basically a lot of caverns and he immediately goes to one which you look there's like nine different like cavern holes around the whole area it's like this is the one we need to go to and the the parents are like oh we are we don't explore that one very often maybe oh uh -huh. maybe we should have explored that one more <laughs> okay <laughs> and so he's like you got it and then you just see caspi waiting he's like well whoever axe jack is i you go first, then. The biggest guy. That would be me. Ashtrak, lead the way. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. so you watch as, like, Caspi has the sword drawn at all times, like, 
just literally walking like one step behind Akshak the entire Kids way and directions through. And it's like, okay, left, then right, uh, oh, left. Oh, here we go. We're going to get lost. Uh, make a nature check. Nature? Um, yeah, everyone make a nature check if you'd like. Can I inspire yeah. Caspi to not get us lost? <laughs> you could. <laughs> like, can I please? I would like to inspire Caspi if I can. I would also um, give it to okay. I uh, like to keep a look on the ground, make sure, uh, like, if I see any kind of tracks of anything as well. Okay, uh, yes, so what was everyone's nature rolls? 17. 16. 4. Okay. 20. Uh, <laughs> 4. Okay, yes, uh, <laughs> if you do go ahead and inspire Caspi, Caspi will also roll a nature check. Caspi rolled a 20. Okay. A modified 20. But he's like, yeah, it is this way. And as like, you're like, are you sure? Like the next corner, you begin to hear like trickling water as if it does sound like it's coming from a fresh spring underground. Mm -hmm. You're like, yay, like, oh, good job, it is. Caspi. Okay. But, uh, but it still, it still sounds like it's a bit of a distance way, but it looks like you're just about a straight, straight and narrow. Like we're going to keep going on this path. And we'll get there. However, Akshak, as you're asking that, uh, you're you you have big feet. Like you're you're a Goliath. You're noticing yeah. your feet are going a little bit lower into the ground now. Like oh, you're no. like walking regular path, and then your feet kind of like dip a little bit. Uh, you look down, and you see that there's like dug in grooves into this like fudge like ground floor. Like something has been either drugged through it or something is dragging its feet through it. Oh no! Okay. So that is what you, and it is approach, it is farther the way you're headed. Like as you continue heading that way, you see this full on groove mm -hmm. into the ground. And then right next to it, uh, you see a slight indent of like a serpentine mm -hmm. line through it next, like right on its side. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to be careful. Um, just... Anyone uh, particularly good in nature? Anyone here able to figure out what the heck that is? What kind of creature at least? I only have a plus three in nature. Does anyone have higher? Well, I've mm -hmm. got a question. Uh, yeah. Could I use survival, like as for like tracking purposes? Yeah, you can definitely go ahead and use the survival for tracking purposes. Okay. Oh god. Uh, crap. Uh, eight total. <laughs> oh my god, don't say that, Andy. Uh, eight total? Uh, yeah. Y you realize whatever, with the, I mean, it's still enough for tracks. You understand, like, the tracks are, like, something heavy, for one. Cause, I mean, because the ground is soft enough, but something to leave such a, like, axe jack is big and would make mm -hmm. an indent into the ground but not the sides of indent, whatever this creature is. But next to it is like serpentined as if it's like followed by some kind of snake. Ugh. Hmm. Should we just, as well, well it, and the snake tracks are leading in the same direction we're going towards. Right, so whatever is next, so whatever it is and a snake are both together leading hmm. towards that way you're headed. All right, well, I mean, I guess we just get the weapons ready. We got to keep yeah. going on, yeah. right? But remember, little Caspi, you must stay behind Axjack and stay safe because we're literally leading a mouse to a snake right now. <laughs> this does not bode well. Uh, so that's not good. All right. Can we keep pressing on, Mr. Rickman? Uh, sure. Yeah. If so, you'd like to just keep pressing on. Yeah. Yeah. Is, does anyone want to try to do Ooh. anything beforehand? I mean, you've got all your weapons ready. You've got all yeah. your... Ma all I, I, I made sure do. all your magic items were equipped and I leveled you all up before we started all this. All right, so let's freaking go. Uh, <laughs> Caspi's like, well, the last thing I remembered because I did get scared was kind of like this, like, like really low roar noise. But I, I don't know where it came from. So like a, yeah, like a kind of a roar. Sure wasn't a hiss. <clears throat> No, 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 okay. no, no, be, be, because the 
the goat friend, he likes to turn himself into a snake sometimes for fun. And I, I know the difference between a roar and a hiss. Oh. Okay. And then Caspi begins to like pretend to do like a snake noise. It's like, that's different. <laughs> and then he tries to do a roar noise, but his voice can't hit anywhere low. So it's like, roar! And it's just <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. So, no, uh, we can't put Caspi on anyone's shoulder. Do you not remember so what happened like, to Calvin I, I, I don't know how. last episode when Calvin went on the ogre's shoulder and almost got moited? No one could go on a shoulder. It's very dangerous once we get into battle. Can't. All Sorry. right. I was telling, um, they were saying Caspi should go on Axtrak's shoulder. And I was like, no, remember what happened last time with Calvin riding on the ogre's shoulder? He almost died. No shoulder riding. Terrible. Okay, pro proceed. Sorry, are we going? Uh, so yeah, yeah. You keep making a uh, way forward. Um, uh, at Zack Shack, you were specifically focusing on it. The grooves continue to keep going and begin to get deeper as the, get uh, as the as the tunnel order. proceeds. It's not gonna kill Cassie. Um, so you uh, got, you, you're about fifty feet. You, you with what's your everyone's eyesight you can see in this like the cave is lit enough uh 50 feet ahead of you you do notice that there is some kind of cloth on the floor 50 feet from you uh, 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 uh pardon uh, uh can i examine the cloth please yeah, so it's 50 feet away. Uh, as you begin walking closer, uh, Axe, Jack, you do feel like a poke at your ankle. And it's like, hey, hey, that's my blanket. Like, like uh, Axe, Jack, is, uh, uh, Caspi is poking you in the ankle with his wooden sword. Like, hey, hey, that's, the, that's my blanket. We're not that far away then. Oh, okay. Well, don't run Ooh. ahead, Caspi. I I'm right here. And you look and like... Uh, Caspi literally has like one hand yeah. on the boot of Axe Jack. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm right here. Caspi's Cass okay. with me. Do not worry. <laughs> so you make it to the blanket. It is, uh, as far as you can tell, just a regular blanket. Uh, Aww. Caspi picks it up. It's almost the size of him. Aww. But he, he puts it, he like, he wears it as a cape for right now so he can keep his sword out. <laughs> and it's like, okay, uh, as you do get because you've moved 50 feet away. You feel like you're only about like a hundred or so feet away from whatever this noise could be. Uh, yes, it is an orange blanket. It's a little bit dirty because it's on the floor of a fudge. <laughs> of a fudge. <laughs> building. Build. It's, it's, it, it, you're living in a fudge a place. Fudge it's going to not be super orange. mountain cavern. Uh, you, but you kind of do hear like a subtle roar. Like you're like, oh, and then you hear Caspian going, I, that's the noise I heard. Uh, can and it's about a hundred feet. It's uh, about a hundred feet away. Can I roll, roll to try and identify what? Yeah, you can roll for a survival it? check to see if you recognize this noise. Ooh, nice. Thirty. A thirty stealth check. Yeah, because okay. I was gonna move in closer. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, thirty. That's that's w enough to move in closer. Is anyone else? Uh, uh, did anyone else uh, check what it I, is? I have eighteen survival. Okay. That. Okay. So with those, a uh, lightly you can easily like. Sixteen. All right. Well, with everyone's rolls, so you did really well. A uh, light, uh, light specifically, you can like the last session, sneak close enough. Uh, you continue to move forward. You definitely feel like no one has ever seen or heard of you. Uh, you look, and mm -hmm. it appears to be the first thing you see is a boulder-like monster. That is, uh, like. It looks gigantic, like a giant boulder, but it's got pieces of uh, marshmallow and nuts sticking out of it. Bear in mind, I I, I didn't have a you know. So it's got it's a giant fudge monster with a uh, mon uh, nuts and marshmallows sticking out of it with uh, bits of chocolate all over. Is this the first um... picture, of Mr. Rickman? Yes, that's the first okay. picture. I, I gave them to you in sequential order. Okay, okay, I pulled it up. Uh, so that is what you see, Lilithia. You see a, it, it's a, for everyone who wants to know the name of it, it's a Galab Dur. It's a, it's an elemental, but it is a rocky road elemental. <laughs> so it looks like a rocky road candy bar. Uh, next to it, you hear 
yeah, next to it, you do see like a a snake, which you can pull up the second picture, which is yep. the snake. Uh, it, it it is uh less Not menacing good. than that, but it is a gummy worm. Like it looks <laughs> like a gummy worm snake, but it does ma open its mouth like that. Perfect. So it is a. Uh, for that pun, it is a worms and dirt monster. Because <laughs> we're going food. We're going food. <laughs> we're going food. You know how good the last birthday food. cake I ever had was one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you see those two monsters, and right past them, you do see this fresh spring water. Like it is a fresh spring. Like they are like resting. Like they're like not resting by it, but they're kind of like just sitting there. It looks like they might be talking. Like, this is what Lilithia can see as she stealthed up. The, like, they look like they're talking to each other. Like, he's got, like, a ro uh, like a low roar, and it hisses back to him. And it looks like they're just in the middle of a conversation to each other. Demogorgon gummy snake anyone right here. Yes. Primordial? Yes. If anyone speaks primordial, you would be able to hear what they're talking about. I, do not, I don't speak it. I don't know. I, I, I do. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that would make sense. So, uh, yeah, Calvin speaking primordial. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Why are we surprised? <laughs> yeah, uh, Calvin, uh, as you guys all move up closer with the 30 stealth check, you're fine. You're about like 30 feet away from them and they don't mm -hmm. seem to notice you. Um, it looks like they're just talking about their day. And they, it just literally sounds like they're just talking about their day. And it's like, oh, man. What about this? And it's like, oh no, what about this? And it just, it's very boring talk to you, especially because, you know, it's its like grown up talk to a child. You're like, wah, 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 wah. Like, you're not getting mm -hmm. anything like exciting out of this. Yeah. This is weird. But it, it, it just, <laughs> they're talking to each other. They still haven't noticed you yet, but you okay. have to get past them in order to get the what? spring water. And How you're going to need a whole mm -hmm. like, Wait, so how do we know it. that they're they're mad? What if we don't need to fight them? They're just having yep. a, a normal conversation about the friggin' weather. Yeah, maybe we much. don't. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can just try to. Can I use? Well, I'm far away right now, right? Should like lift your sneak up and just get the water? Oh Jesus! Uh, you, but I have, have to persuasion. roll another stealth check really well to try and because she has to go uh, into this spring I... next to. The I can Ooh. I can try. <laughs> so Brandon is playing Axe Jack. Um, Converse is playing um, Calvin. Sees is playing Lilithia, and I'm playing the Bard. And perhaps there's more a much more amicable way to do this. Yeah, I agree. What if I have such good persuasion? What if what if Lil mm -hmm. what if uh, Lilithia? Uh, wait, who's talking to? Uh, who's up there right now? <clears throat> No one's up there. You're all 30 feet away. Calvin's the only one that apparently could understand them, which would yeah. mean the only one that could talk to him at this point mm -hmm. without oh, some kind of other help. Oh, you could always uh, get uh, in uh, inspiration. Or the uh, part of inspiration. Uh, well, uh, uh, Puella does have universal speech as an ability. All right, oh. and I have good persuasion. Mm -hmm. So let me get up in there. Yeah. Okay, if you so you, you can use your universal speech and try to if you'd like. So do I well I don't wanna get murdered. I mean can can I <laughs> I don't wanna get murdered. I don't wanna get moited. Should I roll persuasion then? Like what am I doing? Uh, here? Yeah, go ahead and uh as you walk up to them, what are you trying to say? And then give me a persuasion check to see okay. how it goes. I wanna Should say you... to them like hello, I come in peace. We are not trying to hurt you. We were directed here by one of the mouse folk, Cappy, Capsy, and we are uh, <laughs> just trying to get a little bit of that beautiful, absolutely beautiful uh, water that seems to be right behind you guys. And we're not going to take all of it. We're just going to take a little bit of it. We were sent here on a mission from the king. So, like, la, la, la. <laughs> that's, and I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to say. And then I'm rolling. Quick question. While that's rolling, can I take an action to, like, kind of hide just in case? I rolled a 29. Yeah. Okay. A, a 29, which is incredible. I just posted in the D&D &D, uh, sub 
chat to sub channel to show uh i rolled against that and it was a natural 20 to see how well they were going to be because uh a you're not none of you are mouse because no they don't see caspi yeah. and they don't know who you are and the rocky road is not a gentle creature so you begin to talk to it and it kind of like you watch as the snake seems to back off but the rocky road the, the gummy worm begins to back off but the other one doesn't mm. it kind of looks really angry like the snake's like you hear the snake going no no it's they're, they're fine let them go and then the you hear the rock monster go not today as it begins to go ahead and go down into the ground and grab a chunk of the ground and begin to throw it at you it's in roll initiative time wait a second <laughs> How did I not convince both of them? You're saying I only convinced one of them? Yeah, one of them rolled a natural 20 to not, like, to I not believe you. What is, what is, Jesus, what was that bonus thing? Uh, it's, it's a strong bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, damn, okay. All right, so initiative, it does, okay, I got 16 for Lilithia, because I can see these rolls, 13 for I got Cadence. Calvin, uh, 23. 23 for Calvin, yeah. and then what for act check? So we are not fighting Gummy Worm Demogorgon. It appears the Gummy Worm does not want to fight you at this point. Well, if you at least I happen to hit bit. the Gummy Worm in the fight, maybe you might have to fight it. So be careful of not hitting it. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Gorgon. Calvin? So act check, what'd you get? I uh, got five total. Okay. <laughs> All right, up first is Calvin. Calvin, oh you are you are thirty feet away from it. No. You are forty feet away from the water. What would you like to do? Calvin, you have a ton of spells. Mm. Yeah, you got a lot of spells. You got a lot of choices. Uh, there's some easy ones, some harder ones. It's whatever you like to do. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, but you do like you're about to prepare like whatever you're about to do. But you do mm. look and you see this uh, the gummy worm kind of begin to like coil up. Like, uh, it looks like it's gone in complete defense mode. What? Are you? No, why? You said if we didn't hit it, we haven't even started. No, defense. Like, I'm not going to attack you. If you would uh, hit okay. me, I'll All hit right. you. All it's right, like... Mr. Rickman. <laughs> I'm watching you. Uh, Haley's, like, <laughs> freaking out. I don't want to fight more things. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Anna Jean. Oh, my God. All my screens just disappeared. What in the hell? Uh, oh, what spell do you guys, what do you guys I should oh, use? Um, hold on. I don't... Uh, mm. Name some of your spells. Uh, um, Eldritch Blast, Mage Hand, and Mind Silver. Or Mind Sliver. Yeah, those are your uh, cantrips. Cantrip. What is it? So your cantrips. So you've got your, those you can always right. use without mm -hmm. using a spell slot, and then there's other ones. And which, yeah. Um, but as a warlock, you don't have that many spells. So, yeah. You can click them, Converse. Like, click the mm -hmm. spell, and it'll describe what that spell does. So, we're we're playing against mm -hmm. this Galib Dordar. Okay. And it has a, a natural armor of 16. So, it's... And it Typically. Needs... You're, you're not really sure how I had to change this for your encounter. Great. Yeah. Mr. Made it hard. The powers of being a DM. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> click on something that seems like it will be hardcore, like something mm. that will like mess them up, Converse. Like click on your spells and mm. see which what what. I know that there's one that you can like um, get inside its mind mm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't remember the name mm. of things. Eldritch Blast would be your attack spell. Yeah. yeah El so Eldritch Blast does the most damage. Probably a uh, mind sliver, if done correctly, could make the other uh, could make the monster weaker on saving throws in the future. Yeah. Just use your Elders Blast then, Converse. It's the first round, so All you right. could do a lot yeah. of damage. Yeah, just start there. Use that one. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's use the plus nine to hit. See if it hits. Uh, and uh, you actually get uh, roll that twice because you're <laughs> okay. uh, you have two Eldritch Blasts now it, at Andy. level six. I Anna yeah, Jean uh, sent it to me. Okay. Definitely hits. 
and 12 for the second one. 12 for the second one. Mm -hmm. 12 misses, but you do get one of the attacks off. Roll the 1d10 damage. A 10. All right, 10. That's perfect. So you got yeah, full damage on that one job, attack. Calvin. You you do hit it, and you watch mm -hmm. as some of the uh, mm -hmm. the like crushed nuts on its body does like pop, like you blast it <laughs> you off of it. You crushed its nuts. <laughs> yes, you crushed its nuts. That's <laughs> wonderful. Like, you can't leave that one alone. Yeah, you can't, you can't you, let. You, can't you say should that. leave their you nuts alone sometimes. His nuts, Calvin. All right, so that, nut cracker. Right. <laughs> Calvin, so that is uh, one. Uh, that that's your basically thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You, don't, I don't think you have any really bonus actions to do, so you should be. Okay. That there, uh, you do have your roar ability if you'd like to use that as a bonus action, but you don't. You can use that once per short rest. Or is that one? So Where's... it's uh, if you look at your actions under bonus action. Uh, you basically uh, you'd have to get within ten feet of the monster, though. Okay. Uh, so you'd get really close, but if it worked, mm -hmm. uh, you might be able to frighten it. Mm. You had to see or wait or do it. Uh, it's up to you. Mm. It would oh. make a wisdom. Yeah, it would make a wisdom saving throw, and if it gets scared, then it can't voluntarily get closer to you, which could be a good thing. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Where is it? So, so I just need to roll a wisdom saving throw. I just rolled. I just happened to roll enough. So you begin to roar at it, and it like leans over and like it roars back at your face. So that would have been really good because if it was frightened of you, you could have walked around it, gotten the water, and left. But the luck Wait. is not on your side yet, guys. Come on. It is the monster's turn now. Uh, the monster is going to attack. I think the monster is going to size. No, the, the monster would initially size up the players. However, uh, watching as its little worm friend is like cowering now is going to be really annoyed at Puella. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> so you watch as this giant rocky road monster begins to like bend over into like a ball and begins to roll towards you, uh, Puella. Uh, uh, do I get to do anything or I just have to stand here and get like rolled uh, does over? A <laughs> does a 14 hit your armor class? No, it doesn't. So you luckily dodge out of the way. Of Thank it. You. Uh, what, so since I'm in front, would it have to like, pass me in order to be able to? Get uh, so, so she's right next to you. Oh. So you're all kind of like because she had to step up to talk and do her. Okay. No so, problem. No problem. But so that like you, it so instead of like hitting you, it like rolls mm. and like goes right in front. Like it stops right in front of you. It stops too short and it just kind of like looks at you. That's and awkward. it's like, oh. <laughs> it just kind of like stares at you a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, oh, is it my turn? Can I do it? <laughs> it's Lilithia's turn now. Damn and it! And then Puella after. So Lilithia, it is the, your turn. I got the vision <laughs> karma of like Austin Powers where the steamroller is just rolling at that security guard. He's like, nah! But he's not moving. That's what I envisioned when this uh, was how happening. How far away from it am I? Uh, you would be like 10 feet because you were probably right behind uh cadence and Paula. uh however uh calvin you do have an attack of opportunity so if you wanted to use yes. one of your you can you can use your one of your weapons that you have uh yes. one of the physical attacking weapons to see if you hit it and you can hit it as it rolls by smash it Moy do it. but you don't have to but you could if you'd like to use your reaction that way uh, Calvin. And then Lightly Theat is your turn. So whatever you want to do, Lightly Theat. So, um, I'll go ahead and I'll walk the five feet up to it and I'll take a swing at it. Okay. Whoa. Uh, With yeah. My, so you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll have advantage because you can flank here. So go ahead and roll your attacks at advantage. Or your one attack. I think only one still. 
Uh, 14. 14 misses. How long, did you roll an advantage too? Oh, no, hold on. Okay, yeah, that one. 12. Oh. That's right. Yes. So 14. So you go for a miss, but you almost hit Puella. Then she dodges out of the way too. Jesus, and... everyone! <laughs> Come on! Uh, is there anything you want to do for your bonus action? Stab him in the um... oh, I've got the two weapon. Oh no, that's just. Anna, you had a really stressful day, babe. I think okay, it's so I really can, okay, important so, that you go uh, rest, two weapon fighting, my So love. I can attack with another light melee weapon if I have one. So right. that would be my dagger. Yes, so you can attack with a dagger okay. at advantage with the sneak attack if you hit. Yeah. Come on, okay. my Lethe. That's it. Ooh, that. nice. 28. Yes, so you definitely hit. Yeah. So you can roll with your, your dagger damage and your uh, sneak attack damage. Alright, so that's 8 and then 3d6. Andy, if I'm such a small target, it would make it, it would be like, if you're swinging an axe, you should hit Ashak, not me, I'm tiny. Sneak attack. So, 17 total. Okay. Yes, take us so to bed. So, as you watch you, this Anna. happen, I love you, so much. Uh, you carve into it. However, your dagger doesn't go in as deep as you're hoping to. <laughs> Okay. So it, it does it, it does seem to be resistant to uh, the damage that you're doing with your non-magical weapon. However, if you did hit with your rapier, it would have worked because your rapier is a magic weapon. It just happened to work. The, you missed on that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it is now Puella's turn. Unless you, uh, you want to disengage as your bonus action. Well, my bonus action. Oh, are you talking? Oh, right. Your bonus action was the second attack. All right. Yeah. So you're right there, uh, Puella. You are in its face, or uh, like you're at its belly button, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna dissonant whispers it. All right. That's a saving throw. Uh, wisdom. It's probably gonna fail. That. That's a. You have a high saving throw right there. Uh, Sixteen damage. Yeah, it rolled a three. Yes! So it takes 16 damage. Yes! Let's go! Take that, you big block of chocolate. Uh, you watch as, like, you you make this noise. Like, it, no one else can hear it. Uh, you kind of, like, see Caspi go, like, that's annoying. Because Caspi mm -hmm. has really good hearing, too. Like, only Caspi and this monster can hear it. Like, like that's annoying. Uh, but you watch <laughs> as this, uh, the rocky mountain like rocky road monster begins to like try and claw at its ears and it seems to be doing as much damage to itself as you are inflicting like it's like clawing at its ears trying to get the noise to stop small uh, but it mighty. did look really effective yeah small but mighty okay yeah take uh, that. is there anything else you would like to do you can inspire someone yeah you've, uh, you've done one inspiration next, right uh, Axe Jack would be next in the order. Okay, so I'm gonna inspire Axe Jack and I'm gonna sing to mm. Axe Jack, you must fuck this chocolate mountain man guy up, please. And I'm gonna inspire Axe Jack to um, be extra enraged and fierce. All right, so you got a D6. <laughs> you got an extra D6 when you need it. Uh, uh, but, I mean, you can also rage and you can also. Colorado! Yeah. Well, do I but Rocky Mountain High. So with I the said flanking, Ash Jack, who, yeah. who are they flanking you with? At Why can't I say Ash Jack Converse? Uh, you are flanking with uh, oh. Lilithia. Okay. So, cool. yeah. So you would get advantage. You get advantage for flanking. Yep. Right. Okay. You really should have to work with the attack. Right. Um, nope. You're I'm all good. I'm going to uh, use the Great Sword of Vengeance. Okay. I'm gonna attack. No. Uh, great sword is plus eight. Or plus nine. Plus nine. That'd be fourteen to hit the first. A fourteen so misses. No. Second attack. Fourteen. 
14 misses, but you do have your inspiration if oh, you want to yeah, use yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D6. Oh, D6 with that. I'm picturing a jack like for a car so someone's ass. But, no. I just think of asses. Six. So. Yeah, you just needed a two to hit it. it so nice. it was an AC of 16. So you definitely hit it on your first attack. All right. Uh, so it's going to be 2D6 for six. And, and then plus an extra two for raging. Brandon's oh, right, doing right. math. So plus eight. So that's going to be uh, 16 on the first. 16 damage. Okay. And then second attack. Do you know what I, what, I was just thinking? Axe, uh, Jack? Plus nine. Could be a play yeah. on Jack Axe. Definitely hits. Uh, what? Eight. Eight. Uh, Brandon is rolling real dice, guys. That's he's doing real yeah. math. Sorry, <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, you're doing hard math. Fourteen. All right, you with those two swings, you end up cleaving off one of its arms, and oh. it's it, it begins to stumble. Like you, it really looks like you took a big chunk out of it. All right. Uh. You do hear like a quiet, like yay, coming from behind you, which you would yeah. assume to believe is Caspi. Caspi. I mean, as a free answer, can I just say? It I'm is over Andy. Here, you big ugly sob. Just uh, to try and get it to focus its attention on me. Yes. So it does turn around. Uh, it is. It is Calvin's turn again. But uh, Calvin, before it was staring down Puella. Now mm. it's was affixed at. Lilithia for a second, very angry at Puella, but is now, you watch as it's probably a little bit scared of Axe Jack. So Calvin, it is up, uh, you are up. If you'd like to do something. Uh, once again, it could be, you can do whatever you'd like to do. Because you, you only have a few spells, but you know that uh, you, you don't think this fight's going to last too long. So you could also Dissonant Whispers too. You also have that as a spell. Oh, I'll, I'll do the whispers then. Math is okay. Banned. I will roll it with some saving throw. Math is trash, <laughs> garbage. Yeah, I failed that. So go ahead and roll that five d six damage. Okay. Oh shoot. Tom. You got that? It's at the third okay, level okay. spell. 19 okay. points of damage. Damn. We're messing him up. Uh, 19 points of damage. It looks, you uh, You watched, you saw uh, Puella do the same thing. And you're like, oh, this was really effective. You watch as it begins to like, continue to tear apart. Like it's trying to get the noise out of its head and begins like scratching more of its body off. It is looking wrecked, like a candy bar on a hot day, like getting destroyed <laughs> right now. Uh, it's still alive though. So unfortunately, uh, it, it's its turn. Maybe Puella can convince it to back down. I, so I, well, it, I mean, at this it point. It is the monster's turn. It As you yelled at it, the Goliath yells at it, it's gonna go after the Goliath and try and hit uh, with an 18 to hit. Uh, hey, uh, I'm going yeah. to, uh, what is it, stone, stones endurance. Okay, so you would have taken 12 damage, so ro uh, ro you can roll your stone endurance to see what you actually take. So, uh, I rolled 7 for stones endurance, but also I would have resistance, so which comes first? The resistance or the yeah so ba you only have to then you only take two points of damage on that attack however right. as it does impact you uh, i need you to make a strength saving throw which you do at advantage because you're raising it hits you so hard within five feet it's trying to knock you off it, of your feet no! and you're worried about not stepping on caspi as this happens yeah look out for oh, caspi poor baby jesus Come on. Wait, how much damage uh, did Brandon uh, just take? He only took two points of damage, so he oh, okay. uh, endured it, 
enough with his ability, but yeah. not enough to not get knocked off. So, maybe off his feet. Uh, 28, I assume, is going to be enough. Yeah, 28, he hits you, and once again, it looks like, well, why aren't you falling over? And it's like, oh, no. Oh. It's looking very uh, afraid. Lilithia, it is your turn. It's looking really weak, very afraid. And missing an and, arm. Oh, yeah, it's missing an arm. At this point, <laughs> it's missing a leg, too. Like, it has it is, no nuts left. No, it's just all, the marshmallow is just, like, oozing <laughs> off. It's, it's just a mess. Sounds delicious. Right. So with my rapier, I'll go ahead and attempt to uh, slash at its belly. All right, you do have advantage. All right. Yeah, you got advantage on this attack. So let's see if you can kill it. Twenty-two and twenty-seven. Damn. Twenty-seven hits. Yeah. Roll for damage. Uh, yeah. So the rapier seven. is magic. Uh, it is immune to poison damage, so you won't get the additional poison damage. But the damage right there. Uh, yeah, you skewer it right through, oh. and you apparently pierce its whatever core heart is as you pierce through, and you watch as the body just goes lifeless. Ooh, I kind of uh, feel bad. Jack, you notice that's happening, and you push him to the side so he doesn't fall on anyone, and yeah. it just crumbles to the ground. Damn. <laughs> Good job, guys! <laughs> Ooh, that was the fastest battle I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you um, look at the, the snake. The snake kind of just like immediately like fluff. squirms away. Like the, the snake is like, nope, not having any of this. Uh, so you are Good presented choice. with this uh, fresh spring water that you can grab now. Oh my God, right. guys. Go yeah. and, uh, um, can I go pee on the, the remnants of the monster? You yeah. absolutely can do that. That would be a Calvin thing to do. That would be a very Calvin thing to do. <laughs> I would probably try to stop you. That's kind of messed up. But no, I... Calvin. That's Calvin. Brandon. Calvin. He. Yes. That. Yeah. He gives no shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Calvin, you go and pee on the remnants. It melts some more. You know. <laughs> concept of chocolate melting you know you got you understand that I don't know a little bit of you. urine a little bit of marshmallow fluff um you can so water skin yes you pull out the water skin you fill it up you're like this is it uh you see caspi um right so <laughs> calvin right before you begin to pee you watch as caspi goes in and stabs like the pile of chocolate goo once and it's kind of like holds up his sword like really happy and then like watch as you approach and like immediately runs right behind Axe Jack again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a little afraid of Calvin, just a little bit. So uh, uh. you fill up the uh, wineskin. Uh, Calvin, uh, you pee on the corpse. Uh, the stake, it went on the opposite direction that you're intending to head back. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, Caspi just cannot talk, keep talking about A, how he got to stab a monster, even though it was dead and B, that he's got his uh, blanket back and C, that you guys are the coolest adventurers ever and he wishes to be an adventurer yeah. like you guys someday. Someday. And he's Not like, I, I will trade in this wooden sword for a real one. And it, it, he looks at, um, he looks at Lilithia's dagger that's made of cheese. And he's like, that's cool. I want one of those someday. A I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him the, the cheese dagger. Yes! <laughs> uh, you you watch as it his eyes like once again big as his head like oh this is <laughs> and he goes to sniff it and he's like I shouldn't probably eat this right you, no. you probably shouldn't take good care of that okay yeah, I... and he holds it super close to his like chest and he, like he wraps it in his blanket and he's like I won't tell my parents for a little bit okay 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 and I, did we just I'm give gonna, a gonna, child a dagger. Head. <laughs> Wait, Lilithia, you just gave a child a dagger that ha is like enriched with poison or something. <laughs> no, that <laughs> one, the dagger, uh, the, da the the cheese dagger. No, he has a dagger. He has a regular dagger. And th that's slightly like got cheese on it. Mm. Axe Jack has the actual oh, okay. blade Jeez. that does that. No, so he, he just, yeah, Lilithia has a regular dagger a that happens to be cheese. a slightly cheesy mm. because okay. of the fight. <laughs> You're good. Okay. The poison okay. dagger is 
Like, I was like, can we not have saved Cassie and then also kill him? That'd be good. <laughs> like, on the way home, Cassie <sighs> trips on the dagger. No, no. <laughs> no, you guys make it back. Uh, you explained that the fresh, the fresh spring water's there. Uh, uh, Michael and uh, Mina, if no one's catching, that's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Uh-huh. Michael of course and it Minnie. is. Of course it is. is it um, yeah, of course. They explained. They're like, okay, thank you so much. We will um, do something with this water. If it's so rare, we will be able to help more and more people. And I feel like the the three mice. It's like it's like, are they blind? Good night, three blind South Rebel. <laughs> no, they are. You don't believe so. Good night, um, South Rebel. So as you guys are leaving, we inspired uh, him. Yeah, uh, Puella, give me a, a perception check as you're leaving. Okay. Why me? I only have a plus one. They said so. Because I said so. Uh, I think I got a thirteen. Yeah. Okay, with the thirteen, as you're all are leaving, uh, Puella, you do take one more look to say goodbye to Caspi. Uh, you do uh, watch as Caspi's like slowly walking over to the other uh, group of little kid, uh, little mice, and goes to sit down with them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God is brave enough to make friends now. And then I make a little curt a little bow of my head and a little wink at Caspi and I'm very proud of him and then and then I turn back around. Oh. Uh, you uh the Pip and Squeak and um the goat. Uh, you never got the goats. The goat, the druid, that's a mouse. You never got their name. Uh they're like we've cleared out the area for Giles. you to be able to Mr. Uh, it was sure. Giles. Fine. You got Giles. <laughs> and you. Uh, Giles is like, don't worry. I cleared the way for you. You guys can leave now. Uh, you have all collected every single item that you've needed. Uh, you make. It takes you a couple of days to get back to the other literal, directly diagonal side of the world than you are. Colla col we have to, uh, don't we have to go through Kalusi? You do have to go through the Kalusi. So as you are traveling through the Kalusi, I need everyone to make a perception check. Hold on. I have a bad feeling about this. 19. 16. Uh, 19, 16. Alright, yeah, with a 19, uh, as you're riding this river so across uh, Puella, you do notice that there is something in the sea. Shit. That is coming towards you. You can pull up the that next picture. The, the oh no! I was hoping it was, <laughs> this was not for tonight. Oh no! 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 You, you gotta go. Mr. Redman! Yeah, pull up that next photo. No! I was uh, no. Is it a dragon turtle? No. It is definitely uh, not. Ah, uh, it's a uh, dragon. Yes. Yeah. So you see this? Uh, it literally pulls up right next to your ship. Like it is encompassing the ship, and it goes. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, that's different than I thought. Okay. <laughs> it just kind of like waves at you. And it's like, you, you guys going, where are you guys going? Um, we are trying to, am, am I, can, well, I don't have animal, I don't have very good animal handling. Is this so an animal handling? So the strange thing is you don't hear this Kraken speaking. What? It's all in your head. Oh God. All up with you. Okay. Yeah, it's got, it's a very weird, it, this whole place is weird. Yeah. Uh, green. Uh, uh, oh. We are trying to return to insert city name here, and uh, so that we may return home. Uh, they go. Oh, oh, I I can help. Uh, they go. Um, can you though? Like you're working. Ho ho uh, hold tight, okay? Just hold tight. Okay. okay. So you uh. You all hold, like, you guys all, like, embrace yourself, like, brace yourself on something, and you watch as this uh, Kraken E squid monster literally just goes in a, like, keeps your boat, your boat's not even on water anymore. It's up in the air and just dashes you across the entire Kalusi in the matter wow. of minutes. And then oh. land, it sets your boat on the opposite side of the sea. And it's like, wow. oh, okay. Um, Wow, thank, thank you. Thank you. Very much. That was thank thank yeah, you. That, see, that cut our trip in half, at least. That was fun. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Tell the king I said hi. I like him. He's a good guy. What's your Aww. name? 
What's my name? Yes. So we my, can tell the king. My my name's Inky. <laughs> Inky. Inky. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Okay. It's a wonderful name. It's a uh, perfect name. It sets you down. It's like goodbye now, and dives deep uh. in with and like you are all sprayed with milk and honey because that's what the Kalusi is made out of. Completely like drenched. Yeah. As, as it like splashes you, you're like oh. Okay. Calvin loses his mind and starts like <laughs> frantically licking everything. Probably. <laughs> like, yeah. so licking the floor, starts li trying trying to lick <laughs> Axe Jack's boot, lick everything. So, also, uh, yes. why did you pick a picture of Inky smashing a boat? Was that just to scare me? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had, a, had a very different idea of what was about so, to happen. Okay. You, you can you can see for uh, the Anna Jean's dropping the the emotes for the the reason I created this monster. I needed a monster. Nag mm. Nagasaki's got the <gasps> inky. inky. Yeah. So, uh, you guys are very very close now to the the, <laughs> uh, the, to the king. You're like, wow, that was a great trip here. Uh, wow. Are we? Uh, you're like, All where right, did so we land on the other you side? You land of the river? on basically right where the path would be, that white diagonal path leading. No, right but to like, the king. are we near Tarragon or are we near Boya? Oh, you are near Boya. You are okay. literally like within oh, a, like wow. half a day's distance now. You're like, okay. great. Uh, you you have to clean yourself off because that's just gross. Being very yeah. just uh, as you begin Covered. to all clean yourself off. Um, you make it to town. Uh, the guards uh, on your approach are really excited. They're like, "Did you? Did you do it? Did you collect all the stuff?" Yes. Yeah. You did. Oh well, we got to get you the king immediately, and they rush you to the king's quarters. Uh, the king <laughs> has his like right hand man next to him, and he goes, "Okay, okay. If this is, if it th this is true, and." The picture was like a kraken, but it was also a water naga. So naga nagi, whatever. Fine. Um, <laughs> the king goes. The the king can't speak still, obviously, because this is what you're doing. You're here to restore the king's voice by mixing all these items together. Uh, the king looks, and it's like uh, he ushers to his like right hand man to leave to prepare the ceremony. Or like leave so he can let the town know that you've uh, done what you came here to do. So he leaves, uh, closes the door behind him. Uh, the king kind of like looks and you go know, like gives you a gesture like, well, uh, get going like to, for you to perform the stuff. Um, you pull out the book and you read off what you need to do. And now I, this is the important part. Each one of you needs to take one of these skill checks. No one can double up. So I'll read them off, and then you need to decide who's doing what skill check to make sure this procedure goes well. Okay. I need someone to do a nature check, a medicine check, an arcana check, and a performance check. Puella Boy. will probably be the best to do the performance check. I'm gonna do check. performance, because I have a plus 11 on performance. So I need a nature, arcana, Who has the highest nature? Medicine. Name your nature scores, guys. A uh, plus one. I have plus two for me. Brandon, what's your nature? Uh, you will all get advantage on this roll. Whatever you do, everyone gets advantage on their situation. Like the uh, king, like. Okay, so it. Okay, what what was the the arcana you said? Ar yeah, arcana, nature, and medicine. Each one needs to pick one. You get to roll with advantage. All of you do. Okay, so uh, name your arcana scores, guys. Uh, plus two. One. Uh, plus two. Okay. So far, it's Axe not going to be the easiest thing. Yeah. This is <laughs> okay. And then medicine. <clears throat> My medicine is plus three. Zero. Brandon, what's your medicine? Uh, plus one. Okay. So right, Caesar's medicine. doing medicine. Yeah. And then Converse, your Arcana was higher than Brandon's, right? Or was it lower? It was one. It was lower. Okay, so Brandon's was uh, two. Was two. Okay. I wonder what's more important, the medicine or nature check. Who had the higher nature check? They were almost equal. All right. Uh, yeah. So you guys decide, what does your heart feel is correct? Mm. 
probably I can do nature, I guess. I mean, okay. it makes sense for barbarian. And I'll do medicine because I mean I've got the highest out of highest that. Highest out of yeah. that, yeah. And then Converse, so you're Arcana. Okay. All right, and I'm performance. So. All right, roll so. First? So as you guys are going through this, I have it. I have it stepped out. Uh, as your guys are going through it, first is the Arcana check. You open the book. You begin to study line by line to make sure that this ritual goes successfully, which is brewing a tea. You're you're brewing a magic tea right now to restore the king's voice. So the Arcana check. You first are reading off the instructions to make sure you're doing every step in the right order. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. give me the arcana check. Come on, Converse. You can do this. At advantage. So you get a roll twice. 12. Okay. Roll again. See which one is higher. 13. All right. With a 13. Easy enough. You're reading through every line. You're, I mean, you, it's a kid with a book. It's a very big responsibility, but you're just reading through it. Your eyes turn black. Like you, your eyes turn black and you're just reading line by line you're making sure everything goes into place and you're able to instruct the next person to go in oh, the God. next person is the uh, we're gonna go with the next one as nature as you're pulling all the ingredients together in a correct time not to burn the tea not to do anything let's go with the nature check all right. this is nerve-wracking Ooh, uh, 14 a 15 advantage 14 14 advantage. okay 14 easy enough you're making sure all the ingredients are right like this is you make sure the uh, fresh water is right the peppermint is right everything is absolutely correct uh now the medicine is up the medicine you are you're cooking it right in front of the king you it's only you and the king in this room as he's set all of his guards away he's just looking at you intently that this is going to save his voice and be able to send you guys back home. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, with the 22, you've got it. You've got it. Everything Let's do the 22. Is, <laughs> yeah, everything is together in this pot in the middle of this area. It's working. Now, to cement it, there has to be a physical part of this ritual. And Puella, you are it. Oh, Go Jesus. ahead and give me the performance to make sure it goes precise. Oh, frig. All right. Uh, 19. Uh, advantage? Oh, I can roll again, right? I forgot. I was like, that was not good. <laughs> for for having a plus 11. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, I think I did worse. Crap. <laughs> 17 so 19 uh, 19 is a great that was the second highest roll uh oh. you have everything performed right it's beautiful like the, the king has like the first look of hope in his eyes in a very long time uh you get it into you pour all the ingredients into the cheese cup the cheese cup you're like wait why are we pouring hot liquid into a cheese cup it sits <laughs> And it fills, the cup begins to glow as you begin to walk it up to the king. Uh, Puella, you hand it to the king. The king takes a sip. Oh, oh my god. And then he begins to drink more and more until the cup is gone. He looks and he begins to smile. He, You, you feel like his vo uh, vocal cords are beginning to glow a little bit. And he begins to cough. Uh. And cough. Uh and cough you watch the glow around his neck that was like a radiant glow turn to necrotic energy oh. and you watch as he coughs up and you watch shoot behind all of you a 20 foot just almost hitting the ceiling a 20 foot toad monster what and that's where we're gonna end the session what what oh <laughs> are you sure it wasn't a frog Yes, uh, it was sure a play on a frog in the throat. Yeah. But that is it's where we end the session today, and we'll pick up from there <laughs> next time. Wait, can we time out for a second? Are you saying that it shot out of, of the king? Yeah, the, out of the king's throat. He had a frog in his throat. 
<laughs> a 20 foot far frog yes so it yeah uh oh my God. out of the like out of story this, relevance a hey, frog and throat yes oh. frog and throat is the great pun one two yeah no 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 you it, you can't uh, heal him I think it is. yes oh it, it, it's a nurgled oh i thought it was a frog hemoth uh no it's a it's a nurgled uh, uh, the devil toad. I, I, oh my it, God. It'll be a, obviously as the final battle. It'll be very much more enhanced. However, oh. the concept is: why would it be so easy to save the king? I, you, that would be easy. Oh. They had a second backup plan. You save the king. You now have to fight the twenty-foot monster looming over all of you by yeah. yourselves. As the king yeah. sent all of his men away. You guys and are that, alone. So that's where the finale we're going to start from. You will start at initiative Damn, on the finale. Damn, start at initiative on the finale. <laughs> Get out of here. Hold on one second, guys. I want to play the intro for us. Hold on. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I didn't know it was going to. Oh, my God. ending of that campaign was so frustrating in itself right. like there was like oh go ahead um i uh, for time preference i i did <laughs> i made sure i made sure your time was uh you're muted I know, I just unmuted myself. Okay, Sorry. I Upper. asked Mr. Rickman if he thought we were going to kick that monster's ass that fast because we kicked it really fast. And I was like, damn. Yeah, it, or did it you wasn't... expect us to attack both of them? Uh, uh, yes. I expected you to attack both of them, which would have taken a little bit longer, but yeah. I didn't beef up the mon- Like, because like, I can look at it like my encounter builder. That encounter was nowhere near a deadly encounter, could be. Yeah. So I was like, you guys are fine. Was it medium <laughs> or something? Oh, it was barely a medium. Like that's like I was oh, like you guys are fine. It yeah. was a CR six and a CR a two, but you guys were fine. It was nothing like the yeah. counter before that. Like, yeah, you, I mean, which but you also like leveled up. You leveled up, so you got Ooh. more ability stuff in this one. And you, uh, yeah. you guys, I will level up the characters again. The characters will end at level seven, fighting the final Ooh. monster. Figure out what happens after that. Yeah, I thought maybe I was a like, little bit yeah. of a party too. Who knows? Uh oh my god thank you guys so much for today i i i am so excited